Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do uh, your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Taurus. Thank you Lord God for blessing the Taurus with a clear, concise message from you. So I don't know, you and someone could be separated. <clears throat> you feel like you wanna heal the connection. Maybe they feel that way too. You're not sure if it's going to be the same old thing, the same energy. Let's see what the cards have to say. Somebody just wants the relationship back at the status quo. Like if we were just kicking it, we were just having fun, having sex, then that's what I want. If we were moving the relationship to or you know, girlfriend, boyfriend, marriage, then that's what I want. So whatever it used to be, that's what they want. They don't necessarily want change okay all right so let's see what's going on here and this could be you too Taurus okay yeah the two of swords so definitely there hasn't been a breakdown in a close relationship uh this card talks about uh be sure not to cut off loved ones and you may have cut them out or cut them off um there's a maybe little to no communication uh, the communication results in argument or just frustration altogether. Um, therefore, if you do come back together, y'all need to be focused on compromise, negotiation, plans. What do you plan to do? What are you planning to compromise and negotiate on? There's a power struggle between you and someone else. Both of y'all want to be the boss. And typically, most times at a job, um, on a boat, um, anywhere, there's one boss, okay? And it doesn't change in terms of relationships either. You gotta have, you know, one leader, one one headship, whomever that will be. But the beauty of it is you get to decide whose leadership, whose headship you, you will come under. So if you don't want someone leading you for whatever reason, that's more so a question of the, the people that you're choosing, it's not a question of domination. And maybe somebody could have been domineering here. The Ace of Wands here, it says that um, somebody does want to come back to you, do something with you, go out, take you out, go on a trip. Um, or you guys went on a trip because there was a breakdown in communication here. You're having sex or you're you're engaging with each other. Someone wants to do that or you are doing that with someone. You're trying to reignite the flame here for some of you. And some of you just, you're up for the challenge that is this relationship, that is this connection. Um, let's see what's going on here. Yeah, the Eight of Swords, but it seems as if there's some cancellation. Something gets canceled out in your mind. Like the forward movement. Um, it gets canceled out by maybe negative thoughts, overthinking, overexerting yourself in terms of your mental capacity, uh, thinking the worst, fearing, feeling like you're going to get be stuck or bound or tied to something. Um, it could be that you always think about maybe the lack of progression in this connection. We start, it goes well, and then it never really progresses into anything. Um, let's see what's going on here. Could be dealing with the Gemini, the moon card. Uh, yeah, is this too much unknown? It's too much outburst. It's too much uh, friction. You guys may be very different about how you approach life, um, what you do. Uh, there's a lot of reservations, of feelings also for one another. It might not be a whole lot of expressing those feelings, though. They're kind of repressed or suppressed here. Someone doesn't feel comfortable enough to uh, express themselves, express their feelings. Um, somebody brings the other person out of their comfort zone. It makes them a little antsy or anxious in terms of dealing with them. Again, that's a, a question or an issue of control. Let's see. The Ten of Cups. Yeah, there could be a family dynamic here or there's a coming back together or somebody wants to call a truce within this connection so that you guys can come back together. There's a lot of difficulty, but somebody says, look, we can change this. We can change our fortune. 
the 10 card and the will of fortune is 10 so it's like we can change our fortune we can have happiness we can set the stage for happiness you know we just have to perform well together you have the three of cups somebody wants to definitely reconcile with you come back together they could be talking to friends family neighbors anybody that they can talk to about how they miss you they want to come back to you it was better with you 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 um you have the ace of cups wow um they want to tell you that they love you they may even love you more than you love them uh or vice versa uh somebody is being filled with spirit spirituality uh, emotions therefore they're overflowing with emotions here there also could be um pregnancy here too uh, Taurus if you're not then uh, it, it could also be buying a home or celebrating because you bought a home you weren't sure if you're going to do it but you did it the emperor here and the eight of disc so yeah someone could be married um but they want to engage in this third party situation. This is their love. This is their fake connection. This is their emotional connection towards the outside party. Um, this is, uh, it could even be sex only. It could be something done in secrecy. I'm seeing that now too. This is um, a situation, a relationship that goes through cycles. See all those moon cycles, phases. It goes through phases. You guys are good, then you're bad. You're hot, you're cold. You're okay, then it's not. You, you know, it's it's a, a cyclical dynamic. Um, it, it just goes in that same circle here. No progression, just a cycle here. Just a circle, um, circling back around. Maybe this person ghosts and then they come back. Um, they want to come in and put dedication into the relationship, but for how long? Is it just to get what it is they want from you? And it looks like it could be sex only. Um, the Four of Wands. Yeah, they do want the relationship. Uh, they want the establishment of the relationship. Uh, but I don't know if they're willing to have, yeah. The Nine of Swords here. But it brings another person anxiety. Uh, low energy, restless nights, overthinking. Eight Nine of Swords. Uh, the two of swords so it's like somebody got cut out here also someone could be worrying about money here too uh, there could be money worries someone could want to come back to you because they're having money worries also somebody got cut out of the connection because they're either already married already coupled um, and they don't have much to offer in terms of progression uh, in terms of a real relationship so this is what I have for you, Taurus. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your reading there. You also could be dealing with Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, male cancer here with the King of Wands showing up. So you could be dealing with somebody um, who is uh, the King of Wands. This is also a married guy too. Um, definitely fire energy, Aries here showing up. Someone who's already, they have like their empire established from their business to their family. And they're not going to just leave that easily or at all. So that might need to be a, a conversation that you have with this person. It looks like this person likes to come in, um, you know, lots of starts and no progression. Like this person, you know, come in and do something with you. And then you think it is progressing in the right way. We're going to be boyfriend, girlfriend. It's going to get a divorce. I don't know. And then it, it ends just as soon as it starts here. because And, and that's the cycle that you guys go through okay with the eight of pentacles um if it resonates for you go over to the website book your own reading there take advantage of the text question if you have a question or two is this person playing me are they still married will they ever divorce questions like that you can always text those questions to the number below and get answers to your questions um also you can donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.